I would start off the vlog today. Um, I want. I'm determined to do like a good long weekly vlog today, so bear with. But it's Monday. It's twenty past seven. I've just arrived at the girls' house. Um, I'm just waiting to go in. I'm going at half past, so I like to make the most of my like morning time where I'm still asleep. <laughs> um, this is my like late morning when I go to the girls where I start at 7.30 and it's light out when I leave, which is so nice. Like just an hour earlier, leaving at 6 a.m., it's still really, really dark. Whereas now it's light out, like look how bright it is. Um, yeah, so I've got that, I'm coming home and then I've got breakfast. I need to edit my video for today. I'm not sure I'm gonna get it up in time. And then I'm back out to the other family later this afternoon. So yeah, oh my God, my voice is really croaky. There's people walking by and I'm just filming and talking to myself on my phone. Anyway, I'm gonna put the music back on. Good Tuesday afternoon. Yes, I didn't vlog anymore yesterday because when I got home, I was just edit, edit, edit to make sure everything got up. I literally got it saved and everything 15 minutes before it needed to go up. Like I just did it. And actually I'm really pleased with the video. Like I did spend a lot of time. I was looking at the clock like, Evie, if you do this, you might not get it up. But I was like, nope, we'll do it anyway. I spent the evening with my mum and dad kind of planning out how we would want our like lounge to be if we do um, kind of do our kitchen up and everything. It, it, if we do, it's a big kind of plan. I spoke about this vaguely in my last video. I'm home from work. Um, it's currently half past two. So I came home, I had my lunch. I've just watched the Meghan Markle and Harry interview which was really interesting although i kind of felt like i already knew it all because i saw i only saw a couple clips but i feel like that was kind of everything that was in it um but yeah it was really interesting but i do have a little haul i would do for you i know i literally said in the last video i don't order much i think this is the last thing i've ordered basically there's just a couple bits i need i don't know if i spoke about this before and if some of you are just not interested at all like just skip forwards but basically i'm so particular with the period products that i like um i don't know i just find a lot of brands and styles really uncomfortable and boots seem to be like one of the only places i seem to be able to get it now i used to be able to get the stuff from like tesco and superdrug but superdrug you ha can't order it online anymore i don't know whether it became really popular so they just decided no like, just in store or what before i go on to that though, i'm just going to quickly talk about vegan town I spoke about vegan town before because i ordered some like chocolatey bits um and i've just ordered a few bits for the girls be well just one thing for the girls because um, it's nearly Easter when I end up kind of officially leaving. They can't eat dairy. They also can't, oh, wait, let me just double check this doesn't have soya in. They can't eat soya. Um, they can't eat egg. So, yeah. So it's vegan. Basically just ordered the Moo Free Bunny Comb Easter Egg. I kind of wanted to get different ones, but they were basically sold out. So I got the pack of three of the Bunny Comb which I personally really like. And I know they like the bunny comb chocolate because they have it at home. Um, so the two girls that I actually look after, they do have a younger sister. So it kind of works that it came in a pack of three because I can give them one each. Their younger sister isn't um, allergic or anything, but I guess it makes it easier for argument's sake. Then I did just pick up one thing for myself to try, which are the Doisy and Dam dark chocolate drops with a cheeky crunchy coating. They're basically like Smarties, I think don't like dark chocolate but i thought this would be interesting to give a go and i thought if i don't like them they'll be really good on cake um and i'm going to be doing like an eastery kind of cake soon okay so now onto boots i placed a big boots order came in this giant box really boring stuff i'm going to share with them with you anyway so i was talking about the period stuff basically my favorite things are the body form daily style but the multi style you can wear them with thongs as well as normal underwear because I have some that you can wear with thongs from like other brands but they just don't stick and they're really uncomfortable like I really dislike them I've tried so many different brands and then you can't wear them with normal ones as well whereas these you can wear normally with like any style of underwear but you can also wear them with thongs and they're so comfortable I just have always found that body form really do like form to your body two for two pounds I want to say I might be wrong, but it was two for two pounds, I think. It was two for something. So I got two, and then I just thought, you know what? I use them every single day, so I picked up another pack. When I see they're in stock, I stock up. Um, and then I also just got my favourite pads, which are the Body Form 
uh, freshness and protection 14 ultra with wings I personally like wings um, yeah and I just find these to be the most comfortable for me I do have a pack at home already but I just thought I'll get a couple more and um, the next thing that was also on sale were cotton buds I went on to boots to order cotton buds anyway because I've run out and this was something like three for like one pound 25 um, and these ones are like paper stem so they're fine for the environment uh, so yeah, I've got some of these. They're always useful and I love how they come in this packaging because you know I probably won't even use these up for a while like I'll probably be able to take some of these to uni I then managed to find a really chunky claw clip um, I do have some claw clips that I got for Christmas which are fine for like pinning back my hair But if I want to put it up, they don't work for my hair even for like half of my hair Yeah, I've got a chunky one which will hopefully fit all of my hair um, I then also got again for hair is the Lee Stafford hair up styling brush I've seen some of these but by different brands But I thought I'd go for this one because it's kind of it's got actual like hairbrush bristles as well as like The ones for like slicking your hair back um, So I thought this would just be really really useful for doing slick buns Mainly for uni, but I'm obviously give it a try now see if it works if I don't like the br the brushes like the actual brush bristles Then I will just buy one without but I just thought it was quite cheap. So Yeah, vegan friendly and cruelty free love that the final thing that I got was a new mirror I said in my previous video did I? Yeah, I think I did. I think I said about me ordering this. But I smashed my little mirror and I've always wanted a light up mirror. So I picked up the number seven one. It's actually got a scratch on it. Um, but yeah, this was £20 down from like 49 99 Then it was down to 29 99 and then down to 20 The rose gold one was like 19 99 and I was like, oh, one p cheaper. And then I was like, no, rose gold just doesn't match my room anymore. Sorry, the rest of this vlog won't be a haul, I promise. Um, but I just thought... I really enjoy showing stuff and I know people like hauls so god I feel like I'm opening like a doll from when I was a child this really brings back memories hopefully that'll be okay anyway I've got a ton of stuff on my bed now um oh I was gonna watch Harry Potter but my sister's got an assessment I might just rent it on YouTube that is my little haul I'm excited to go eat my cake now because I'm really hungry I'm gonna get up Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one. Oh, I do, I always say this, but I do love Deathly Hallows. I just really do. So last night, I was literally about to go to bed. It was about quarter past ten. Actually, it was about, yeah, no, it was about quarter past ten, and I'd just gone to the toilet, like, before I was getting into bed. My dad's office was open, the window, not the window, the curtains, and I saw these really bright torches, and I was like, what's that? So I went to the window, and then I saw a police car and two police, like, so opposite my road, I don't know if you've ever seen it before, like in my clips, there's kind of like a grassy area with like a field and some play equipment further down that I can't quite see and then there's like woods behind. But yeah, so there was two police down there like with these bright torches, like I've never seen torches so bright. And I was like watching them and they were like shining it everywhere, like looking all around. All of the houses on our road, you could see everyone looking out the window, which was quite funny. And I went to tell my mum and dad, and my dad was already looking out the window being nosy. I was like, oh my god, that's so typical of our family. And then I looked back again, and another police car arrived, and two people got out, and they like, I didn't really see what they were doing when they were out. And then all of a sudden, they jumped in the car and they drove off again, and I was like, oh my god, it was really dramatic. I have no idea what was happening, but... It was interesting. Deathly Hallows is all in my recommended now to watch Harry Potter because I rented a couple of them. Oh, um, I had a really lovely lunch. I had jacket sweet potato, which I cooked in the oven. Um, I like to put it in the microwave, like prick it, put it in the microwave for about four and a half minutes, and then I put it in the oven for about 35 minutes. Um, and yes, yeah, so I put that in. I then had some lentils going, which took about 40 minutes to cook. I know. Um, I then had some red onion and spinach that I like fried up in a pan. I also had some tomatoes I put in the oven and I did a couple poached eggs. This is what it looked like. It was delicious. Really, really loved it. But um, I am really hungry now. Probably because I didn't have a snack this morning. Reminds of me now. Okay, about to do tidy in and organise. I mean, it's mostly just boxes. There is a few clothes underneath, but we can get that done now. 
not totally done, but nearly there. Sammy is still in here. I don't know if you can see him, he's just there. <laughs> So I am mid clear up, um, but I just finally got round to re-sewing the buttons on this. Um, one of the buttons came off and I didn't have any thread that matched so I just took all of the other buttons off and have re-sewn them on, they're really secure so I can do that. I have mostly done the floor area um, and next thing I'm going to do is start on my desk. Next up is to sort out my desk. I need to put my new mirror up and all of that kind of jazz. So, one, two, three, all done. I mean, usually I prefer this mirror on this side, but it didn't work because of the cables. Um, and also in order to get it like pushed back, it's not perfectly straight, but this is how it works, which is really cool. I just topped up all of like my cotton buds down there. And yeah, this is the finished dressing table. I don't know if you can actually hear it, but it is really raining this morning. Um, it's about 20 past seven, I'm about to go in again, but I just thought I'd say good morning, tell you it is pouring, has been all morning and it's meant to all day and tomorrow as well, so lovely weather. I've got a very busy day today because I am taking the girls into school, then going straight to the other family, coming home, grabbing some lunch and then picking the girls up from school and looking after them till about 7.30. Oh my God, someone just walked by and I'm talking to my phone. That's fine, he's a dog walker, he probably didn't even see me. Anyway, I should probably shut up and go in in a second. <laughs> I'm so tired. Tomorrow's gonna be worse because I have to be up at 5.30. Um, so it's actually Thursday now. I did kind of vlog yesterday, but I didn't really speak to you. Um, I've just come back from work. I left at six o'clock this morning. Um, and I'm going back out in, what's the time? 45 minutes, but, um, I need to go to the post office on my way home today. I've just had to go in the loft to get all of my parcel bags down. Need to find my lint roller. Um, I'm just posting my like sports bra. I reckon I can fit that in there. Um, yeah, I'm just going again for two hours to the other family today. Then I'm home. I need to film a video because um, it's upload day tomorrow. I have an idea for my video, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it done and I'm hoping I can get it done. But if I don't get it done, what I'll do is I'll just upload on Saturday because I don't wanna upload something that's not great um but yeah i'm just gonna have to spend like today getting all of that sorted but yeah i just need to get all of this packaged up and then we can get going i'm very tired um yeah <laughs> it is so so windy um so i have to drive on like a dual carriageway to and from work and oh my god it was quite scary it was very very shaky like every now and again you get caught in a gust of wind and you'd really have to like steer away from it okay time to get posting wrapping even i'm posting later hey i am home i was wondering what that noise was then i um, yeah, i went to the post office and actually the post office lady was really nice i'm pleased with that um i had a nice day yeah i had a nice day with my new uh nanny family well their little boy we were gonna go to the park and then we drove there and then we saw a river down the other side so we decided to go down by the river and we had a little walk around there lots of puddles um so yeah we basically just had a nice long walk in the did some splashing i need to film a video i see i had a video that i wanted to film but I don't think I'm going to actually be able to finish it in time for tomorrow. So I'm going to do a different video, which I've still wanted to film anyway. Um, it's just like a classic video that I like to do. So I'm going to do that and um, I will get back to you, but I need this camera to film, obviously. So that's what's going to happen. I will see you guys later. Hey, what is the difference? Why that makes so much difference? This is my... Um, new mirror that I got. Wow, I'm glad I had that on while I was filming. 
Um, sometimes my lighting was a bit off, but I have just finished filming. Sorry, I was looking at the viewfinder. It's like, because there's me. Um, yeah, I finished. Um, I kind of just want to take my makeup off now. I enjoyed filming, but now I'm like, why do I feel so strange? I need to buy a new foundation. I tried to use it and it was like full of, I don't know, like water or oil in the top of it. And I just thought, oh, maybe it's because I've not used it in a while. So I shook it and then I put it on and I just looked awful. I looked so strange. Um, so I need to get a new one, which is actually quite good because I wanted to try the serum of the foundation. Um, but I was like, I can't really justify buying that when I've already got a foundation. Uh, but excuse now, I've got an excuse. I just made a little post on Instagram. This is my post, go check it out. Make sure you like and comment. Um, it's one with my mum from when it was snowing. And honestly, people are gonna think I've edited our eyes because I have never seen them this bright in my life. But I think it must be because of the snow. Like I showed my mum before I even put a filter on it. And I think the snow must have acted as like a reflector. Um, and like our eyes and our skin like just look so good. But then I do remember Emily Cannon back when it snowed. She uploaded a photo as well from the snow. And she very much like her skin looked really good and her eyes looked really bright. So yeah, I definitely think that's like a thing. Um, but yeah, I've got that uploaded, which is cool. Um, what was I about to do? I can't remember what I was about to do, but now that's filmed, I feel good. I feel relaxed and like ready for tomorrow. I'm up at 5.30 again tomorrow. Um, whereas, but, not whereas. Um, yeah, I'm up at 5.30 tomorrow, but instead of coming home and having breakfast, I'm gonna eat breakfast with the girls and then I'm going straight off to the other family. Um, and so I will be done by quarter past 11. Maybe 20 past actually, because traffic is awful. Since the school's reopened, so I've been taking the girls to school anyway, in lockdown because their parents are key workers. So they've still been going to school and it's been so nice. Like, I mean, it's still been a little, like a little bit busy, but not like busy. Like I haven't had to be in any traffic at all. And traffic lights near broke. So traffic was all like messed up, but I didn't have to queue once. And I mean, not once. School ha Schools have been open. And usually when the schools were open, like I would be queuing, like it would take like two minutes, you know? I would just be queuing down the road. Yesterday, I was queuing all the way down the road, down the school road, all the way down. Um, it took a long time to get out the traffic and the traffic lights are fixed and it still didn't work. I was gonna say, so yeah, I'm gonna be done by quarter past 11, 20 past 11, so I'll be home um, before 12. I'll probably have my lunch straight away and then get editing. That gives me not too long, but I'm gonna try and do some of it today. I'm gonna go do a workout today as well. I know all of my, right, I say this every vlog and I'm not gonna say, it. I'm gonna try not to say it in every vlog from now on. I know my vlogs are basically me just talking. But I personally enjoy watching those kind of vlogs. So I'm gonna stick with how I do my vlogs and like I do time lapses and stuff every now and again. But like my life isn't that interesting and we're literally in a global pandemic and all I do is go to work. So there's not really a lot I can show and I don't like to get my family on camera all the time because I know they don't want to be on camera all the time. I've got some eyebrow hairs that need plucking. I thought I got them yesterday. Um, I might take my makeup off in a minute, so I'm gonna sort my eyebrows out. Hey everyone, let's... I'm practically in the same spot, but it is Friday, so good morning. Um, I didn't actually end finishing yesterday, but I did my workout, it was a really, really good workout. I did such a good stretch. And I also, so Thursdays are kind of like our girls' night, so we had two episodes of Grey's, two episodes of Jane the Virgin, we also watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And had dinner tonight we i don't know what we're doing but like a local farm to us um they have they have like a farm park and they are doing like a <laughs> they're doing friday night takeaways where they're doing um loads of food and stuff and you can get a takeaway so we're doing that it's like burgers and stuff so we're doing that tonight we ordered our food on wednesday night um but yeah i'm home i'm finished i need to now get 
onto the vlog so I am going to need to take this SD card in a second but yeah I am so tired my skin is kind of suffering from that but you know it's not 12 o'clock yet I've just brought up a packet of crisps and then in a few minutes, I'm gonna grab some lunch, but I thought I can start transferring the footage onto my computer. So that is what I'm gonna do. And I will catch up with you guys later on. Good morning, everybody. I'm filming um, this on my phone. I feel like half of my vlogs, half of it's on my phone now, but my camera is dead. But, oh my God, I've just run up the stairs. So now I'm tired, don't judge how unfit I am. I'm just opening the curtains for today oh it's saturday god these slippers are honestly terrible i will show you them they're from ego official and i've had some from here before but i don't know whether it's the style of slipper like this or whether it's because it's like a chunkier sole but i keep twisting my ankle in them like my foot fully just kind of folds to the side like that rather than it being like that it goes like that i just did that so they're not the best slippers. These ones, I've never twisted my ankle in them. Anyway, I've just stripped the bed because it really needs washing. And I've also just put out all of my washing that I need to do today. I have four loads of washing, including my bedding. Because I have all of the light stuff for my bedding, which is gonna have to go in one. Then all of the dark stuff of my bedding, which is gonna have to go in one. Then my darks, which is gonna have to go in one. And my lights, which is gonna have to go in one. So that's great but what i do need to do is i need to make my mother's day card i have some inspiration um it is mother's day tomorrow by the way and i'm actually really happy because so i know i said i'm back at the ice cream parlor well so i was there oh no Sunday. turns out someone else will usually work with on a sunday basically let me explain this better there's only going to be two people on at a time for now because it's quiet and we're only open 12 till 4. So we're in like 11.30 to 4.30. And so we don't need another person. <clears throat> so the other person who I would usually work with on a Sunday is in next week, as in tomorrow, rather than me. And then we're swapping for the week after, so I'm in the week after. So it's just so happened that I'm off on Mother's Day, which is so great because I've been working the last two Mother's Days. Two Mother's Days? <gasps> yeah, because it was my trial shift two years not the last Mother's Day, but the Mother's Day before, I had like a trial shift. I've been here a long time. <laughs> anyway, so I need to make my Mother's Day card, which I'm excited that I can actually like spend Mother's Day with my family. We're having Beef Wellington, which, oh, I'm so excited about. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll get back to you. I know I always say this, but I will, I promise. I don't know if you can hear, it's just started pouring with rain. Um, but I have finally, finally finished everything. It is now 10 to one. So I've been doing this for quite a long time. My card took ages. I'll insert a photo here. This is the card that I did. Um, it was inspired by this photo. So I'm quite proud. Um, I'm not really much of an artist, but we always make our like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas and cards for our parents. Yeah, I've just wrapped everything up. You will have seen possibly in my previous vlog what I've got my mum. I don't know if she can hear me, so I'll just whisper. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just show you it wrapped up. Here it is. It's just this little box. We didn't really have much wrapping and I wanted to use brown paper, but this is all we had and it wouldn't have wrapped it all up. So I got, I used this, but the opposite side. So yeah, it's also got another thing in here. Um, so yeah, that's why it's a bit lumpy, but here it is. It's not very beautiful, but hey ho. So it is another day and I know I've been so bad at vlogging. I'm going to actually end the vlog here, but it is Mother's Day. We've just been out on a long walk. I was stupid and thought I'd broken my docks in and I've come back with really like rubbed, sore bottoms of my feet and a blister that rubbed and popped on the walk. <laughs> so I've just stuck a plaster on and getting that sorted. Uh, Mum and dad have just gone out to pick up and alexa which we're getting in the kitchen so we've had this little speaker in our kitchen for so so long and i've been trying to persuade my mum and dad to get an alexa in the kitchen because when i'm in here 
And say if I'm like cooking and I've got raw chicken and I don't like the song that I'm listening to, I can't change it. And my mum started listening to music and podcasts a lot more. And um, so the Echo Show has come out, re I don't know how recently, but my dad kind of thought it was really cool. And eventually they have decided you know what let's do it it'll be so nice for our kitchen we're thinking about getting our kitchen redone next year as well so that will obviously go in there and it's really great because my mum likes to use a lot of bbc good food recipes you can get that up on there um and also i'm off to uni soon so my mum think it'll be, thinks it'll be really nice to be able to video call on it so yeah my mum and dad have gone to pick one up today we ordered it last night and it's being delivered to waitrose um someone is coming to collect my mirror this afternoon got the dogs down here they're muddy so i'm waiting with them in the kitchen until mum and dad get back so they can bath them we've got a lovely dinner tonight beef wellington which is my fave but i just thought well my mum and dad are gone i'll get editing the vlog so this is up on time for you guys but um i hope you guys have had a nice mother's day or just a classic sunday um i know that it can be a really hard time for some people so i'm sending hugs to everybody um and yeah I, I will see you guys on friday with a new video thank you for watching this far if you managed to get this far bye oh, 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 I can't breathe without your